knotless braids today. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're doing a tutorial today on knotless braids, okay? We have our strands of hair we're going to be adding into our knotless braids, already prepared as you can see. They are as close to about the same size as we can get, okay? So we're just going to part some uh, a good section out. Now my client here, she's got really dry hair. She's been blown out, but... You see them ends. They are really crunchy. But let's try to look past that, okay? Because you might get some clients like this. Going to grab you a little bit of Shining Jam to put at the, at the roots, okay? At the base of your knotless braid. You're going to mold it. And please work with her hair, okay? <laughs> We're going to start to separate this section into three strands or three sections, okay? Start to braid like you would a regular plait or a regular single and go around one full time. I typically will comb that middle section just so it lies flat. Remember, we're doing knotless braids. <clears throat> okay, first strand. We're going to grab that with the index finger, the thumb. We're going to add it on there. And just watch my fingers. We're going to go braid around one full time just like we did in the beginning. Okay, so we're going to get another strand of hair. Okay, try to look past my fingers because I have to keep a nice grip on the hair itself. So we're going to add another strand on. See how we did that, right? We're going to braid it around one more again and stop. We're going to add a little bit of product. And what I just did about twisting the hair under is um, that's how you tuck your client's hair. We're gonna add another strand. Braid it around. I know you can see those ends, the natural ends, the client's ends, okay? Just tuck it under and keep braiding because we want a nice, full, thick, uniformed braid. So sometimes it's better to just braid and feel what you're working with instead of trying to figure out if you have the correct amount of hair just by looking at it, okay? So work with your hands. Use what you can feel. If one strand feels like way too thick, put some of the hair over into another strand so you can have a uniformed braid, okay? And that's all it is. You're just going to continue braiding down and voila, 